Hello everybody, it's Jen. I hope you guys are having a great day. I am going to be making a Valentine's Day card for you today using the new Love Letters stamp set from Lawn Fawn as well as an older set called You've Got Mail which I bought in order to make some cute cards with this new stamp set. So I've stamped out a number of the images on some Spectrum Noir uh, paper and I'm using my Spectrum Noir my Spectrum Noir markers to color in the images. So I've left the tops of the caps over to the left hand corners so that you can see them. I'm using BT1, BT3, and BT4 for the tealy blue color. And I'm just going from light to dark and then using the darker um, and going back over until the image is colored the way that I want it. Uh, for the cheeks, I'm using PP1, and I love these little birdies. They are so adorable. This stamp set is really easy to color, and although it has some Valentine's Day sentiments in it, it does not need to be used just for Valentine's Day. So for the pink color, I am using PP2 as the lightest color, and then I'm going uh, over some of the uh, areas where I want there to be some shading with PP4, and then the darkest color I'm using is PP5. And then I'll go back and blend that out um, from medium to light again. So I used IG1 for the beaks of the birds. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I have this thing where I don't like coloring beaks or feet of birds or penguins or anything like that uh, with orange or yellow. It's just one of those things. So I'm going to be coloring it, uh, well I did color it with the IG1. And then uh, at the end of the card I will be using some silver stickles. So I'm also just going to be coloring the mailbox as you see here. So I'm using IG2, IG4, and IG6. And I'm going to be doing some shading um, just where I think there would be darker spots on the mailbox here. I wanted the images to really stand out, so I wanted to do like a muted kind of gray color for the mailbox. And so I wasn't quite sure how dark I wanted it to be. So I just started lighter and then moving uh, darker as I went. So it's always easier to put color on, a little bit more difficult to take color off. So this will, um, it actually, when it dries, it's got a um, more smoother look to it. Um, so it looks a little bit choppy at this point, but you'll see uh, as I start working with it, I'm using the tip to tip technique here just to blend it out a little bit more. And by the time I've die cut it, uh, all the colors will have blended really beautifully together. And I'm going to be adding um, some silver stickles to the handle of the mailbox um, drawer as well, just to add in some more sparkle with the card. So this is fairly simple coloring. It just takes a little bit to get the blending um, the way you want it, but I'm going to now die cut out the images. So there's the mailbox cut out with the coordinating dies. And then I'm going to cut out um, these little guys here and the envelope. And I use a Big Shot machine to do that. And just do that off camera so you don't need to watch it. So I'm using the new fancy scalloped rectangle dies that came out from Lawn Fawn this year as well and I'm going to be doing the packaging technique. So I just have a piece of regular cardstock laminated underneath the package and the card front, and I'm just using some pink uh, watercolor from a cheap uh, watercolor set from Michaels, and then some water using my distress, ooh, my distress sprayer, and I'm just gonna spread that on. Now I'm using regular cardstock here, so uh, it doesn't blend as well onto the background as watercolor paper would. You can see it looked really nice when I had it down. And then when I lifted the packaging up, the water really moved. So just a quick tip, you can fix that with 
your paintbrush and uh, get it the way you want it. So I am just adding a little bit more color in the spots where I want there to be a bit more pink. And then I'm going to use my heat tool here just to dry that up a little bit. And I will set it to dry as well for a little bit before I start putting the card together. And once it's dry, you can keep adding layers to get the color you want it to be. So I'm just going to use my stamping tool here to make sure that I can get the sentiment in the exact spot that I want it. So I'm just kind of placing where I want the images to go so I can see where I'm going to stamp the sentiment. And I am using, it says, I am sending you a little note to say and then I'm going to stamp that out using VersaFine Black Onyx ink. And I'm really happy with the way that this uh, stamped out the first time. It was a very nice uh, crisp black image. So I didn't even need to do it a second time. The Happy Valentine's Day, I want it to match the birds. So I'm actually using, I believe it's Cool Cabana. Uh, I think that's the name. Um, it's a stamping up ink and I'm going to stamp that a couple times. I think I actually do it three times. Uh, I don't put it all in the video but just so I can get that to kind of match the color of the birds. So I'm going to adhere that down to the fancy scalloped uh, border. I really love that border. It just adds a fun little element to the card and I love how it doesn't go all the way onto the edges of a standard A2 size card, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. So you can see a little bit of the white peeking out. So I'm just going to do some shading on the bottom here. I'm using IG1 and then my blender marker just to give some shadowing under the images and I'm going to place the little birdie and the letter at the top here. I'm going to stamp a few little black hearts here. This heart comes with the Love Letters stamp set. And I just thought it looked pretty kind of mimicking the pattern of the um, smushing technique that I did. And I'm just using some silver stickles here like I'd mentioned for the beaks. And I put it on the handle of the mailbox as well. Then I'm going to use my Spectrum Noir glitter brush marker here and I'm going to glitter up these cute little birds just to give them some extra shine and shimmer. And my card is finished, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, have a great day and I will see you all in the next video. Take care, bye.